Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for being a part of this journey with me. Being able to know I'm no longer alone. I've never been alone. And being able to meet each and every one of you with these beautiful angelic souls. Be able to know there are so many people on the same level can you have a lot in common with so it's good to be able to have people relate to you and know that you know you're not on this journey by yourself so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if you write down, you know, a positive feedback to the content of my video, or you're allowing me to know about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path, you know, Please go ahead and share and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, my, my energy is just so crazy today. So if you see the light flashes, that, that that's my energy is coming off. A lot of people, if you've been with me for a while, you should be used to it. Because it's like when my, my energy is off the charts like that and I feel so much love. You know, I feel so much love every time I do these videos, but it's just a blessing for me to be able to share that with you. Because um, I know a lot of us need that, so I'm sending that uplifting vibe towards your way. Um, and my, the beautiful music I'm listening to as well, and I think that's enough too, with me, me listening to certain uh, meditation uh, videos, they kind of make my energy go crazy like that. Um, my, my meditation music that I'm listening to today is 528 Hertz music for the soul tones of healing tranquility light music for calm mind and harmony who, who doesn't need that in their life and you know that I will be posting that in the link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Okas, allow yourself to rise from everything that was sent to sent to break you I mean there are so many of y'all you have you know been such a God sent on allowing me to be a part of your life with you opening up, you know, and sharing the tragedy you have experienced. Being able to know you can come here in this community where I don't tolerate negativity, I don't tolerate, you know, judgmental people as well, because it's like if anybody sends a negative comment, you know, I, you know, it just depends. If it's directed towards me, it just really depends. Because if I see that you're being an ass just to be an ass because you're insecure about some stuff, I'm not going to post it. But there's times I allow things to go like that, you know, just for you to be able to see the stuff that you wrote. And you got to go back and think about that. Should I not said that? But, you know, it, it's just a lot of things I don't tolerate. If I know that people are going to be, you know, narcissistic or just negative, I just don't allow that to play here but it's just a, a beautiful community where all different walks of life all different cultures you know ethnic backgrounds and you know you know spirituality you know there's some people that come here they're also religious too which is not just mental I'm just a, a spiritual person I'm not religious but you know going through all these things has been a beautiful blessing but it's just like a lot of us have gone through a lot of things and it's just like when I tell people you know your step on strength is when you're opening up and allowing people to know this is what has affected me this is what has brought me here and you know and this is all like a learning experience being able to do these videos like i tell y'all all the time i know you probably get tired of hearing that but there's new people that are coming in it's a blessing to be able to do these videos like i've said before you know i've experienced things where i didn't have no guidance i just only guidance i had was spiritual either between my dad's essence or the universe directing me to a certain situation or directing me towards some a link or a video just for me to learn you know learn along the way and that was truly a blessing for me to be able to experience so 
being able to, you know, do all these things and being open to let you know this is my story. This is the things that I've taught. These are the things that I have learned. Because it's just like me being a student as well as a teacher. So um, it's like I'm learning each and every day, you know, like I tell you all the time. You're, you're healing a lot of things you're not going to be able to heal with just like in five minutes or, you know, just or a month or even a week. You know, as long as you're giving yourself that energy to tell yourself every day you said in that affirmation like I am going to heal from the things that were sent to uh, break me I'm going to heal from the things that have hurt me I, I you know I'm going to heal from the things that you know has really messed me up mentally emotionally sexually all these different things uh, hold on y'all gotta pause for the yeah my bad um, I'm back now uh, yeah my fur babies kept coming in and out of here and that was like really distracting but yeah we we have gone through a lot of things that has really messed us up in so many different ways um, that you have experienced and it's just like that's the beginning of strength when you can open up and say you know I'm, I'm trying to heal from this situation or this situation has brought me here to watch your videos because it's just a blessing that you know people are going through different things and they're trying to get guidance or even advice or just to know you know am I alone in this am I the only one experiencing these things and you're not you know there's just a lot of people who are not you know they, they haven't accepted that fact for them to be open about the things they're experiencing and it's just like we're going to that crossroads to our blessings that are trying to come into our life so there's a lot of things that is exposing you <laughs> to all your old memories you know you might feel tired you know I've been resting a lot lately more than I usually do when you know it's a blessing where I was just like I get angry with myself like Ugh, you gotta do this you gotta do that you gotta do this but then when I start getting to these uh, spiritual forums uh, like on Facebook there's a lot of different ones that I'm you know in group two like Nam namaste and you know light workers and you know empaths and all this stuff so it's just a lot of them are saying the same thing that they're being very emotional being really aggravated you know drained a lot more than they usually are so it's just like I had to tell them reassure them you know hey we're going through these different things and blah 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 and they were like oh thank you thank you thank you you know I'm just thinking I was the only one I'm like no you're not you know and I had to really break it down to allow them to know this is the reason why you're experiencing all these things because I said you're gonna be dealing with a lot of the trauma that you have been placed in with throughout your years and even probably from your past life as well you're experiencing all these things because like I said before we are the ones who's going to break these gen uh, generational uh, curses and these uh, karmatic karmic cycles so a lot of things might be more intensified because universe is allowing you to see these things like okay look yes these things has happened to you but there are so many good things that are coming into your life you want these good things to come into your life but why keep on repeating that same scenario of the things that we cannot change yes there's a lot of jacked up stuff we have experienced our families or you know our spouses or you know even our loved ones or co-workers whatever it's put us through some things that's really hurtful but you can't keep allowing yourself to go through that that will all the time because it's like if you want the blessings to come through you have to be able to recognize the things that we need to part with these are the things you need to work on with yourself a learning like okay if you didn't experience these things you would have never knew what spiritual aspects that that was attached to you in the first place you know and a lot of times I was like why did I have to go through all that because I wouldn't know who I was I wouldn't knew what capable things I was capable of doing on a positive note than I did now if I never experienced all these things yeah it was a sucky situation but then I can say you know what this this traumatic situation or this negative impact can have a beautiful outcome because it's like if I didn't experience this pain if I didn't experience the neglect the the mishaps the mistakes you know it wouldn't have, it wouldn't emote me into the person I am now but being able to experience those things and being able to be open and let y'all know, yeah, these are the things that I had to go through. I'm not worried about how people think of me, what they think of me, you know, what their response is. It's like the people that can relate to the things that I'm going through, they're going to be grateful. The people that are not, you know, hey, it is what it is. And, you know, you know, you can take it with a grain of salt. It doesn't matter to me because it's like I'm not doing this for publicity. I'm not doing this to get likes. You know, I'm just doing this to be able to bring awareness towards other people's lives. Saying even though you have been experienced the most hell god awful situations, 
you can allow these things to strengthen you, give you knowledge in so many different ways because we are heading towards something bigger and greater that your blessings are going to be a lot bigger than the issues that you're dealing with. Trust that. You have to keep telling yourself that all the time. My blessings that are coming towards me or that are holding you know, on for me are a lot bigger than the things that I've experienced in life because you're doing all that that light work you're doing right now the empath work the hayoka work especially if you're a hayoka good god you're already going through enough as it is and we are to take stuff the hard way anyway we don't allow ourselves to let go of stuff and just let it pass we got to go through all these different things and allow ourselves to keep on experiencing just for us to be able to let go so just for you to do that you're already becoming stronger anyway because you're you're facing it and you keep on reliving it and reliving it and reliving it. But it's like you shouldn't beat yourself up for the things that, you know, that people have brought to you. You know, yes, I, you know, I had to have that thing where I was mad at people. I couldn't stand them <laughs> for doing these things to me. Now it's just like when it comes to the folks that I deal with, I call them P.O.P. You know, people in my past. I don't even call them family. I have people in my past. I used to call them SOS, the son of Satan. <laughs> For you to be doing that, you got to be the son of Satan. But all those different things, you know, I, I fought their actions, not the actual person. Because it's just like you can be the most beautiful person with the ugliest ass attitude. I, you know, you'll tend to know that. But it's just like, you know, now it's, it's like where I'm at that crossroads. I, I'm seeing things for what they are. I'm seeing people. I'm just cutting them off. I don't know, cut off a few more other people yesterday. And these are people I love dearly. But then when I notice there's, you know, and you'll notice a pattern with people. If you, you'll get a certain kind of energy shift when you, like, say you're on social media and you play something. I even had to tell my daughter about that. You know, um, my, my daughter went to prom and she was so beautiful. And there was a lot of people like, mm, it's okay. I said, you have to realize those are people that are hating on you. You know, folks that don't hate they don't they congratulate you they, when you see beauty you allow you 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 state something like this is really beautiful don't dry it <laughs> you know but i said i told her a lot of people aren't going to be happy for you because you were looking very beautiful you know because people are like oh you look good when they look see that you um, went through hell and you look like you went through hell but it was just like certain people i noticed that i can you know i can uh post one thing and oh you love all those and even though they're in the same category probably like a, a a poster to right behind it I don't hear nothing from you so I'm just like oh okay let me just go ahead and cut you off because I already see you dry hating already and you know and there's a lot of people that don't come towards your way because it's like they know the things that you have been through but they're not going to give you that acknowledgement hey you you know you have really been you know you have really came a long way and it's just like i give credit where credit is due it's like when i see people especially my other youtubers that i support i see you doing good things i give you that credit i ain't gonna hate on you why should i hate on you that's not my journey i don't know what you had to do to get towards that journey even if you got more things better than me i'm still not gonna hate your journey because i don't know what sacrifices you made i don't know what you had to go through to get to where you had to get to so it's just like you you're you know you're getting these things so it's just like like i told people never hate on the next person on their journey because when you start hating on folks like that they don't realize they're cutting their blessings short so if you know you want things in your life don't ever wish something on anybody because i guarantee you it will mess it up it will really mess it up in the long run but you know so i'm not gonna drag on to this video allow yourself to heal in so many different ways you know you have something big and better coming towards your life that you truly deserve so allow yourself to experience that happiness and let go of the things that sit to break you so uh if give me your you know give me a, your input on this video i greatly appreciate it uh send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and know you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and since this is over 14 minutes long i'm gonna see you on my next video much love peace to you and be wow